So to manage my channel on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm gonna start by going to youtube.com. And once I've gone to youtube.com, I wanna make sure that I'm signed in uh, with my Google or YouTube account. And from there, there's an option that says YouTube Studio. Um, that's where I wanna go to be able to do most of the management things to my account. So when I go to YouTube Studio, this is gonna start off with what's called the dashboard. The dashboard is gonna show me just an overview of what's happening with your channel. Uh, it gives me my latest video that I've posted and the performance, it gives me uh, an overview of my subscribers, some news, the latest comments, um, how some recently published videos were doing, some subscribers, um, and just an overall picture of what my channel looks like. If I wanted to get to all of the videos that I've posted so far, I can do that over here where it says content. So if I click on content, this is gonna show me all of the videos that I have published. Now I have hundreds of videos on my channel and it simply puts them right now in order by date. But I can click on any of these categories or columns to be able to reorganize this if I want as well, or I could put it in reverse date order if I want to as well. Now, once I've uploaded a video here, if I hover over that video, I get some options that show up, showing me some things that I can do with it. This first option here is a details. This is where I will be able to change the name, the description of the video, and go back into the settings to be able to adjust any of the things that I set whenever I first uploaded that video to begin with. If I go back, I also have the ability to view the analytics of this specific video. This is one that I just posted. So it tells me it's only got one view so far and I can see how it's doing over time and who is viewing it and even real time results of how this is being reviewed. And then I have other options here for the overall reach and engagement and who the audience is and all those things if I want. Now, if I go back, uh, I have an option for comments. This shows me any comments that have been made in this video uh, that I can simply go and look at those comments. I can choose to reply to those comments. It'll show me if any comments have been held for me to approve. This is where I will see that in here as well. Um, this link here takes me directly to that YouTube video on YouTube. So this is what, if I just wanted to open it and watch it, I click here, it opens a new tab, takes me right to that video. Now the three dots here are pretty cool. They have some options in here to edit just the title and description, which opens these two without all the other settings. I also have an option in here to simply get the link. When I say get shareable link, this will automatically copy the link to that one specific video that I can then paste and send to anybody I want without having to open it up. Um, so it's a quick, easy way to copy and paste links to your videos to other people. And then I also have the ability here to download the original. So since I'm the one who created the video and uploaded the video, if I ever want to, I can download any video on my channel and download the original back to my computer. So I can tell it to download that video and that gives me the full version of it that I could go back and edit again or whatever I want, or I can simply choose to delete. Now I can also in this column here, adjust the visibility. Right now this video is set to be public. Um, I could schedule it to be public on a specific date or time, so it'll be private until it goes uh, public at a specific time, or I could mark a video as unlisted or private where I would share it with specific people. Uh, most of my videos are public unless it's something that features student information or student names um, that I need to protect. I can also get an overview of when the video was published, how many views it has, any comments. This is also a live link that I can click on it that takes me to it. Uh, to view those comments or any likes or dislikes. So I can also choose in here to make playlists. So if I click on playlist over here on the left, I can create a new playlist and I can simply put a bunch of videos together in that playlist. So if I have a playlist here uh, and I view it, a playlist will simply give me the ability to have a videos play in a specific order. So I can add more videos to it and I can adjust the order of how these videos are gonna be sorted. And when somebody goes to watch one of my playlists, it'll start with one video and go right to the next, to the next, to the next, right after that. Now the analytics over here on the left is the overall analytics of my channel. Here's where you can see who's visiting your channel, how much they're visiting and what's going on. So. This tells me in the last 28 days, my channel's gotten 20, almost 25,000 views and how many subscribers I've added in those 28 days. Your overall live count of subscribers is in here, as well as your most popular videos during this period. I can also go up here and see 
who your videos are reaching, uh, how the traffic is handling on your video, where these people are coming from when they're going for or are finding my videos, um, things like that. So nerdy, geeky stuff, just if you care on where your videos are coming. And all this information is live day by day by day, so you can go through it and see any of that if you want. I also have the ability to look at comments over here on the left. Again, anytime someone's commented, these are all the comments and all my videos all in one time. And I can simply go through and I could thumb up or thumb down a comment, love it, or simply go and remove inappropriate ones, hide users or, in, or report users um, if I want, or I could tell it to automatically or always approve comments from this specific user if they're causing a problem. Um, so a lot of different options in here, or I can simply hit reply to reply to any comments that I have not yet responded to. This is also where you're gonna see comments that have been held for review if you have that turned on in your settings that you choose whether or not those comments are approved or not. Um, other than that, you do have some other settings and other things that you can go in and customize, but as far as the day-to-day -day operation of your channel, that's really all there is to it. Um, you can go ahead and start publishing things left and right, and then uh, go ahead and view your content, see how uh, your videos are doing, check it back on a daily basis, make sure you keep engaged with your uh, viewers to make sure you're replying to comments and answering questions if you need to. Um, but other than that, that's all it takes to manage a YouTube channel.